Good day to you. Uh, it is about the noon hour and welcome to Wow Wednesdays with Pastor V. Uh, it is Christmas week and we have been in Advent season and now comes that time where we have anticipated where we can truly celebrate the birth of the Savior, the birth of the Christ child. Uh, this week we want to just come to you with some announcements and some prayer requests and then of course a word for us for this day. Uh, please remember that there is no Bible study this week or next. Uh, we will uh, resume after the first of the year, uh, but while Wednesday will come to you next Wednesday as well so that you will get a midweek word and uh, so that we can continue our faith journey even during these holidays, this holiday season. First, let me announce that we will have Christmas Eve service at Baker uh, on Saturday at 3 p.m. That's Saturday at 3 p.m. Uh, it is the consensus of those uh, churches because of the elderly and because it is a weekend that we move it up so people can spend their Christmas Eve preparing for Christmas so that no one has the excuse of saying they are not coming to church on Sunday. For we will celebrate the birth of Christ together. We will have a celebration of Jesus' birth on Sunday morning at 1045. Uh, we will not have any other service Sunday, but that at 1045, from 1045 to 1145, we're going to do our best. We really want to be one hour as we celebrate the birth of Christ, as we come together, but that we do not impede, we do not impede upon those, that time that you need to spend with family on that day as you continue to celebrate Christ's birth. We ask that you would pray uh, for each of these families that I will name on this Friday, uh, Sister Vieta. Busby and the Busby family will lay to rest her father, uh, Brother Thomas Morgan, and that funeral will be at Golden Gate, Fort Worth, but the repast will be at Carter Metropolitan immediately following uh, the, the in, uh, interment, uh, internment at, uh, the, uh, at the cemetery. And so that we will come back and to and share and fellowship with them and to let them know, let the Busby family know how much uh, they are loved. And so that funeral is uh, Friday at 11 a.m. The following Friday, uh, Sister Kathy Harris and a family will come together at Carter Metropolitan to um, bid farewell to her nephew, uh, Earl, um, Earl uh, and uh, Earl Hudson will be um, funeralized at Carter Metropolitan. So we uh, hope that those of you who are able will come and share with that family. Please continue to keep each person who is ill going through in your prayers, Sister Newton, Dr. Sims, uh, Sister Jackson, Sister Joan Roberts, uh, uh, we continue to pray for Reverend Elsie Manning. She's recuperating, but we're praying for strength. Continue to keep your pastor in prayer. Pain is real, and, and yet God is able, and I'm trusting God for complete recovery. And so I ask that you join me in that prayer for not only myself, but for everyone else. Keep Reverend Jill, Dr. Jill Jackson in your prayers as she uh, fights through her illness. But we know, again, God is absolutely able because God is the healer, the great physician, and there is nothing that God cannot do. There is a bomb in Gilead, and we are uh, trusting God and telling God, thank you in advance for what God is doing on behalf of each of those. We want you to also keep Brother Larry Ross in your prayers. Uh, he uh, lost uh, a brother on this week, and we ask that you would keep him lifted in your prayers and when we get that information we will get that to you uh, as soon as possible now let's spend a little time on the word uh, this week is christmas week and uh, the narrative lectionary for this week following the 18th the week after the 18th 
of December includes the birth of Christ and also Psalm 23. And you wonder, how do those two work together? Well, uh, Matthew 1 uh, tells the story of Christ's birth. And when the angel goes to Joseph, which we talked about on Sunday, he says to Joseph that, that remember these words from the prophet Isaiah, that a virgin shall conceive and his name shall be Emmanuel, God with us. Well, Psalm 23 and 4 says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and staff, they comfort me. So God is with us in difficult seasons, but God is also with us in the embodiment of Jesus Christ. So I want to leave you with three things. One, uh, adversity, adversity comes. Adversity comes into our lives and we will we, we need to know that Jesus entered this world in a place of adversity. There was trouble in the land, there was trouble with the Roman Empire. Uh, Jesus came into the world in a place of adversity. There was no room in the end. So he had to be born in a in a barn, in a in a stable where with animals and, and people around the king born in a in, in a lowly place. There was adversity as Jesus entered the world. Jesus entered in a place of adversity, of struggle, of internal and personal struggle with even his family for his 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 birth and his conception was not was not uh, the norm it was unconventional it was never heard of except in the prophecy and so jesus enters in a place of adversity but so so yea though i walk through the valley there's going to be valleys the shadow of death is never quite the darkness of death because shadow means there's light. There's some light somewhere. So even though we have adversity, we're not uh, distraught. We know that adversity comes. But the second thing that, that Psalm text says, I will fear no evil. Uh, Jesus is the affirmation of the promise. And because Jesus came and is the affirmation of the promise, we can stand tall and say, I will fear nothing. I'll fear nothing that is anti what God would have for me. The only thing I fear in reverence is God. So I will fear no evil. Not I might, or I wish I didn't. I hope to feel no, you know, I will fear no evil. So there's affirmation in the promise that God is with us. God is with us. So we don't have to fear evil. We are not alone. And then finally, we have assurance of God's presence. His name shall be Emmanuel, which means God with us. So God is with us in every situation. God is with us. God is with us. God is with us. God is with us. And, and so when the psalmist says, for thou art with me, that is the assurance that the rod and the staff of God's protection, God's care, God being there will be with us always. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Be comforted today. Be comforted, my people. Knowing that because God is with us in, in the and, and was with them in the Old Testament as they read the psalm in the hope of what we've been able to experience. God is with us because Jesus is with us. God with us, Emmanuel. Born in a place of adversity. But affirmed by the promise and then finally we have assurance in his presence for he is with us will never leave us nor forsake us stand on the word of God be encouraged be uplifted and remember God is with us
Have a wonderful day. Have wonderful preparations for this weekend. Plan to join us on Saturday at 3. Plan to be there for the family on Friday afternoon. Make this the weekend. If it was our birthday, we we like to have birthday weekends. So let's give Christ a birthday weekend where we serve and we show our love. And then where we come together in fellowship as we celebrate what the Christmas Eve was for uh that miracle that was to happen on Christmas morning and then on Christmas morning. We will come together and give God praise, celebrate Jesus for it is Jesus' birthday and we're going to give him the praise and glory that is due Jesus for Jesus is the light of the world that shines within us and in all the world through us. May God bless and keep you is my prayer until we meet again soon. Be blessed.